KCJ and welcome back to my channel or to my channel in the first place. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Alamar Cosmetics palette and uh, it's been going around like crazy in social media right now so you've probably heard of it especially if you're watching Little Me I'm sure you've heard it. So this is what the Alamar palette looks like and it's so exciting to me. Oh I'm out of focus so sorry. This is so exciting to me. This is the inside of the palette, and it has such beautiful shades, oh my word. And some of the shades you can use with a wet brush or a dry brush. They actually specify uh, with a little water droplet or a sunshine, and I think that is just so cool. Let's just, you know, let's just jump into it. This is what I will be doing with my eyes, and if that looks fun to you, stay tuned. <laughs> and I'm not entirely sure how to say it. It's a Reina de... Reina de Caribe palette, and I'm a white girl, so forgive me for probably saying it and botching it. Um, so you open up the palette, we have, I believe, eight beautiful shades. These are so gorgeous, and they're incredibly pigmented. So the first shade I'm going to go into is I'm going to take this uh, nice fluffy crease brush. This is from Candy for Trendy or Candy for Beauty. And I'm going to go into Cafecito, and forgive me once I say every single shade wrong. So I'm going to take, and I'm just going to get a very small amount of that. And I'm actually going to use this in my crease. And you have to go incredibly light on the pigment because it's a dark pigment. So I'm trying not to use too much. So I'm just going back and forth, blending it as best as I can out into the rest of my lid. So I forgot to mention, I already primed my eyes and did my eyebrows before we started, so I'm sorry for that. Um, that's what I'll usually do anyways, just to save time. So now we use... Shoot. What am I saying? I don't know what I'm saying. Woo! So then next I'm going to take, this is the Luxie 249 brush. It has two sides. And I'm going to take this more flat side. And I'm going to go into the Coco Taxi shade right here. And I'm going to apply that directly on the lid. My dog is in the background playing with one of those toys that has like a trash bag inside it or something. It's all crunchy. I'm going to take that shade and drag it up just a little bit into kind of a crevice on the outer V of your eye. Right. Next I'm going to take the fluffy end of my Luxie 249 brush into the Tropico shade and then I'm just going to take a little bit of that and I'm going to start to apply that on the outer V of the eye. Just blend that out into the browner shade from earlier, the Cafecito shade. I'm just packing a little more on the bottom, um, right in this corner on the outer third of my lid just to kind of intensify that pigment just a little. And then I'm blending it in with the rest. And then I'm just going to kind of uh, wipe off the end of my brush onto the dry washcloth under my camera and I'm just going to blend these together a little bit so there shouldn't be much um, there shouldn't be much oh, my dog is driving me nuts with her noisy toy but I'm not putting any pigment onto this I'm just kind of blending them together I'm going to take a little bit more of that brown and the Cafecito Brown and just apply a little more back into the crease blending it out and I'm trying to get more of that brown in like the inner half of the eye leaving the more reddish uh, tropico shade more towards the outer edge of the eye and you can go back and intensify that if you'd like make sure it's all blended well and you have the colors exactly where you want them. So 
So next I'm going to take a combination of brushes. I'm going to start with the Aesthetica. Uh, this is like the, the liner brush. We got it in a BoxyCharm not too long ago. I'm going to start with this one and then I'm going to go in with this Eco Tools. Uh, this is actually a precision lip brush, but I really like it for like the lining my under eye or for lining the top. So I'm going to take these and I'm actually going to go into the, oh gosh, how do you say that? Varadero. No idea. So, I'm going to go into the dark blue shade. And I'm going to line my eye with that as if it was eyeliner. I'm first taking the Aesthetica Beauty Brush. We're going to see if that will. You have to be careful because I'm seeming to get a little bit of powder in my eye. It's making my eye water. I'm thinking, I think to intensify this, I'm actually going to take my Make It Last setting spray and spray the end of my brush. And on this palette, there are actually shades that have little water droplets on them and that means that you can wet your brush and use the shades and it will intensify them and then there are ones that have uh, sunshine little like suns next to them and that means that you use a dry brush you don't need a wet brush so I'm going to wet the my brush just a little and then I'm gonna go back into that dark blue shadow and try to kind of intensify the pigment on my eye Okay, then I'm going to create a wing. I'm going to start with this brush and I might go back with my precision lip brush because it's a little thicker. I'm going to just drag it up. Alright, I'm going to try to switch to the precision lip brush by EcoTools to make this line a little thicker. There we go. I'm trying to decide if I want to bring that line up higher or just leave it right there. So now I'm going to wipe off that Eco Tools brush and I'm going to go into the Coco Taxi shade and I'm going to put this on the bottom of my eye. So I'm lining my under eye with this. Then I'm going to wipe my brush off again and go into the Tropico shade right here and bring that in only as far as it's on the top lid which is only just the outer third of the eye. Then I think I'm going to take a little bit once again wiping off my brush of the Cafecito Brown and just ever so lightly put that on the outer third more towards the very tip of the lashes not covering up all of the reddish color the tropical color and we're just kind of lining directly at the lash base and it's just creating a little more definition of the lash line i'm going to wipe off my brush and take the aesthetica really thin brush <coughs> excuse me i might be getting it cold the Aesthetica Thin Brush once again and go back into the that can't even say it. the dark blue shade and line the outer bottom of the lash line to about where when you're looking forward the outer circle of your eye just in a little bit into that. You could probably say it's about half of the lower lash line. And then you can blur it just a little bit out so it's not so such a drastic line. Then this time I'm going to drag that bottom blue up into the top blue so the lines are cohesive. This blue is such a pretty color, I love it. 
So because there is not a matte light colored shade in this palette, I'm going to take out my palette from my store really quick and I'm just going to do um, the t under my brow. So this is the flat brush we used on our lid, the Luxie 249 brush. And I'm going to go into the shade Bisque right here. It's just a basically my skin tone color. And I'm going to take that up under the brow just ever so lightly, trying not to get rid of the pigment we already have below. Just a little right here. Then I'm going to take that bisque shade and bring it down just a little bit, combining the area of my eyelid to um, the area that starts to connect to our nose so we don't have such a drastic line on our eyeshadow to our skin tone. Then I'm going to take my the fluffy end one more time and just blend out that edge so there's not missing, so there's no lines. Then I'm going to take the flat end of that Luxie 249 brush once again and I'm going to go into the shade La Costa, which is this kind of pinky shade, and I'm going to put that under the arch of the brow. I'm going to drag it down just a little to the tail of the brow. Then we'll do our inner corner after we have foundation on and all of the other good stuff. So I will be right back. <laughs> Shoo, I think I'm going to use the Ofra. super out of focus now. Now we have applied uh, mascara foundation and all the other good stuff and this is the final look. love this look and I find this actually um, more like an everyday look than I anticipated. I thought when I added the blue line it would be kind of over the top dramatic but I think I could have made a blue line that was much more dramatic but I think I really like this and I would wear this on a rather regular basis. <laughs> so I'm very pleased with this. I will keep you updated in the description box to below as to how the eyeshadow wears, if it stays on well, uh, retains its pigment, all that good stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this look and this video. I hope you come back, like and subscribe if you feel so led. Um, leave me comments below. Have you tried the Alamar Cosmetics palette? Did you like it? What was the look like? Did you do dramatic or were you able to find an everyday type look? If you repeat this look, tag me. I totally wanna see how you do it. Uh, I just, that would excite me to see if you did the same thing or maybe you glamorized what I did, made it a little more intense. And I'd love to see that as well. So I hope you all have an awesome day. Bye guys.